and welcome to another edition of Tarot After Dark. It's been a long week. It's been an exciting week, and I'm really happy for it. But it it did mean that I wasn't able to really sit down and read cards, not since Monday at least. Um, it's now Wednesday night. And it's windy as all hell outside. It's really bizarre for December. Um, a lot of my friends who, <laughs> I'll just say, just a lot of my friends make comments about how this is not really supposed to be happening in December. And um, while I agree with that, it's like out of the ordinary. Um, climate than what we're used to. It's been pretty mild so far. Technically, winter hasn't hit us yet. It's still fall, technically. Um, and I just like to remind myself that all is unfolding as it should anyway. So, I am just, um, I'm just happy that I have a safe and warm home to be in. Um, what else? What else can I say? Um, the full moon is coming up very, very soon. I believe it's on Saturday. And so the days leading up to a full moon, um, if the full moon is, is about the culmination of something or a releasing of something, whatever intentions were set on the new moon two weeks ago. Now is the time in the days leading up to the full moon to make any tweaks or adjustments. Sort of like the final, uh, if you're with me on this quarter game uh, method, the quarter game, nope, that's not what I'm looking for metaphor, the quarter game metaphor, <laughs> oh no, just set the, set the, um, make any final adjustments to the ramp maybe, I don't know, we're just gonna see what cards come out today and what happens with it. Time for a nap. Yes, I know, universe. It's past my bedtime. What am I doing? <laughs> Awake. Orphaned and regeneration. Whoa. So the energy here is... Um, first of all, just look at the color palette of these cards. This might be really strange to see on in this blue lighting. Time for a nap. And then Orphaned is this card with a with a girl just sort of sitting on a tree stump. Or something like that. Orphaned is about how we feel like we've been left behind. Regeneration is some transformative energy. So it's almost as if someone might feel someone might be feeling um, lonely um, during a period of intense transformation. Time for a nap. Time to give yourself a break. Maybe it's time to step out of this lonely energy and into something else. Maybe it's uh, time to try out this new, some new skills. Take a nap. Hmm. Maybe we'll read from the book in a sec.
No way. It's the Page of Wands. Again, the Page of Wands has been coming up a lot. Come on, show me. Show me the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> no. No, why is he still here? Okay. This is the same message that's been coming out a lot. And honestly, it makes sense. Like, if I do this every day and my intentions are the same, is just to read the room. Of course the same stuff's going to come out. We have the wise old tree, the two of pentacles, um, six of cups, and the recent past. It's like the energy of like wanting to come to terms with what you've known to be true up until now. It's like you've been making do with what you know, like trying to make it fit somehow. Um, and I see it working for some time, but there's like this big questioning. There's a questioning of whether or not this is actually all that there is to know. The wise old tree is, is what questions are the things that we know. It's like the more that we know, we become rigid and inflexible to new things. And if you remember the, the energy of the the full moon eclipse whenever that was that was like a, almost a month ago in Sagittarius was all about becoming more open um, and a lot of this questioning energy so that's showing up in the recent past it makes sense the ten of pentacles ace of pentacles temperance um, good things come to those who wait is the message I'm getting um, for that not only do we see something coming to fruition so this this might be the energy of this full moon coming up in Gemini something coming to fruition there's also a new opportunity for those who are willing to try new things and in the future King of, King of Cups, the world, and messages. Holy. So. This is for somebody who's done the work. So this orphan regeneration time for a nap. I, I really do feel like. This is somebody who's done the necessary but difficult work of transforming somehow. This orphaned card, I don't, I mean. It's like the feeling of being left out, but I feel like it's also been sort of like self-inflicted through regeneration. Time for a nap. Yeah, there's almost like a, a feeling of resignation a bit. So that's why I say the orphaned energy feels sort of self-inflicted, not like self-sabotage, but more just like there's an understanding of um, something is changing within this person. And so now um, there needed to be sort of like a, a step back. And in that step back, there's been a lot of questioning of what am I actually trying to do here? What am I trying to achieve? Whatever they've been doing, it's working because there's the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles right next to each other in Temperance, which, which on, that's the Sag card, that's Sagittarius, which is here right now. The Page of Wands, this card has been showing up for me for at least a week. I mean, we can go back to those other readings, the other videos and actually see. They, it's been coming up for me in this, specifically in this position of the underneath, right? The theme. What the hell does that mean? It is, it's the spark of an idea. It's like saying potential, but that's it. I guess it, in some ways it is, um, I wonder if that's Sag energy too, the Page of Wands, because it could also be, um, 
sort of just a confirmation of being in alignment with that eclipse energy that came in the past and it's sort of it it carrying it being carried forward into the future Um, in the near future, something is ending. I mean, I'd say, you know, the year is ending. Um, and so naturally, I think a lot of 3D cyclical things do come to an end at the end of the year, right? Like our finances, um, not the school year, but you know, a lot of people go on breaks. So, so everyone, so everyone's try finishing something or another, but the world as a card indicates the end of some really significant cycle. And with the King of Cups right next to it, the energy of, of not being able to be shaken whatsoever, this does not phase anybody, this ending. It's like, I know. Someone here understands that something needs to come to an end, and now they're open to receive more messages. It's almost like, what's next? What's next? Um, somebody here has done the work. They've gotten themselves into a very stable place. And now, just waiting for something to close out to get a new message. Who is this for? So I'll clarify. Show me. Page of Wands. Summer. Seven of Wands. High Priestess. This is somebody, I'd say, who's learning to trust their intuition. A lot more. It's almost like short bursts of of energy, of being able to like listen to intuition and, and follow it. So it takes a lot of energy, honestly, to be that present. Maybe that's the take a nap energy from earlier. Take a nap, T time for a nap. Wise old tree. Let's clarify the wise old tree in the past. Lovers. Spring. Yeah. Yeah, someone. Hmm. Someone, so along this line of questioning, right? Some Someone's questioning, um, inspired to uh, breed new life within them. That almost sounds like someone's getting pregnant. But <laughs> what I mean is like someone's getting new ideas about themselves. Um, yeah. Someone might be using magic to look into themselves. Into, you know, I, I mean, that could even mean like someone's reading their birth chart for the first time like really looking into it. Someone is finding a new perspective on themselves here in the recent past. Two of two of pentacles in the recent past. Four of swords, there's the nap. Eight of wands, messages. Nine of pentacles. Look at this nine, I mean, um, eight of wands. Normally we see the eight of wands and there's, there's not really a figure in there. It's just the wands themselves. But the fact that there is a fox caught in these wands, it makes me feel like that there's, yes, things are happening. Things are happening all around us all the time. Um, but this person feels a little like hit upside the head with all that's going on. It's like, um, it's a little bit over, could be overwhelming. I think there's this um, this this orphaned in reverse energy coming through. 
and and then and then confident. Someone's trying to balance uh, their own progress with this. This feels like sort of like self. Um, some, like someone's trying to make the right decisions for themselves and sometimes that decision is like let's stay home sometimes that decision is let's go out and see how the world's changed in a while I know that's been a, a very difficult this or that recently for a lot of people and continues to be do I go out and show face you know I'm feeling confident today maybe I'll do it <laughs> But for the most part, it looks like somebody here is really trying to balance that with resting, taking enough time to rest and like, um, getting grounded really, which is good. That's why the King of Cups is here in the future because someone's really, really doing the work. That's what I think. Um, Six of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, yep. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. To me, this says, this harmonious energy is here, right? In the recent past. This because you've, you've done the time. You've literally invested the time into yourself. And look at that. There's like this closing out. The Nine and the Ten of Swords back to back. You've closed out some sort of like... Um, cognitive um, ne negative mental cycle good for you that's what's changed that's what's changed you're not letting things worry you or keep you up at night that are insignificant I feel like a really great sense of relief like wow Um, let's move on to the present. The, in the present, we have the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Let's see that. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> Judgment. Ace of Wands. Okay. All right. So, I mean, if, if the Ten of Pentacles is all about... Um, really, I think it's like legacy. It's everything that you want to build in life it's the culmination it's the the goals that you have for your life the king of pentacles is just affirming that you have in the present it might feel like you have achieved some form of stability in that sense i'm not saying like you've gotten 100 percent of the way because i don't believe that we can ever truly feel that we've 100% reached our goals. I mean, even the moment that you think that you do, you know, we, we turn around and sort of make new goals, right? So uh, life is but just a chasing of this 10 of pentacles or whatever. But I think that what happened in the near, in the, re, in the present is someone had a realization that the stability that they've been looking for um, is actually quite within reach. Maybe you're realizing you have certain, more, greater access to certain resources than you, you originally thought you had. Okay, that's, I think that's what's, what's initiating this new opportunity that's here, uh, the Ace of Pentacles in the middle. What resources? Knight of Pentacles. Look at all these Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Two of Swords. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. So the moment you get this new opportunity, it might very well be work-related or something about how you spend your time. It's like you've now done, you've done the work, and so the Ten of Cups comes, you know, your, your happy place is here, and you're not able to make a decision. <laughs> it's almost like someone saying like, yeah, but like, I'm not ready. Or yeah, but like, I don't deserve it. No, you did the work. You did the work. And you have what it takes. But the energy is definitely of like, uh, 
not uh, not not moving yet. Not moving on this. You know, we'll, we're not going to do the cards tonight because it's not working, and I don't have I don't have the patience. Um, let's move on to temperance in the present. Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. So, so if this is resonating for you and, and you're, you're sort of like faced with this choice, uh, unable to make a choice, it's almost like you're waiting for some kind of sign. And in the meantime, you're perfectly happy just sort of like doing your own work. You're still working on something. You're still working on yourself maybe. And it feels good to you doing that. So why wouldn't you just keep keep doing it? Um, but the Page of Cups here, I mean, that tells me that some something from your subconscious wants to like creep in and tell you something. Like there are messages here. The eight, there was the eight in the past, the eight of uh, wands, I mean, and the owl card, which is this beautiful messages card. What do you mean? Show me the owls. Yes. This is just another card from this deck it's just the owls the messages in the future so that's what I have for the present let's move on to the future king of cups wow we got a lot of pages in here this might be like a, a fresh start sort of feeling it feels very fresh. <laughs> feels very fresh. Also, I can't get over this nine or nine and ten of swords that came out. That is like a huge. Um, that's a huge achievement to sort of close out some sort of negative, um, destructive mental cycle. Th those are the kinds of things that um, keep us stuck in our own ways. Right, like when we're in our when it, we're in our heads a lot, um, that's how we get in our own ways and unable to move forward. So even though you've closed this out, there's some stability here. There's inspiration. There's um, assessment, and there's you doing the work, and there's happiness, and then boom, two of swords. It comes back in. So it's almost like you, you've decided, well, the thing I have been doing most recently has been working, so I'm just going to keep doing it. And you're, it's almost like you're totally omitting this Ten of Cups. Omitting it. Omitting. So now we're at the King of Cups in the near future. And we have the, it's clarified by the Five of Wands, the New Moon, and the Page of Pentacles. It's almost like you're in the near future, you're still sort of deciding what you want. Like you want to be able to set some intentions based on what you know or what you're learning. You're, this is the information gathering phase. Okay, that's fine. But what's important is that you feel good and you feel stable. So I don't, I don't think or... And who am I to say anything about whatever? But like, it doesn't matter to make a choice for the sake of making a choice, I guess is what I wanted to say. Um, let's look at the world. The Wheel of Fortune and the world. I. The time will basically the world is saying this whole process, which I will call the um, this uh, transformative, regenerative, working on myself process, 
all that stuff's good and healthy, but even that will come to an end. Not that, like, we never do stop, like, working on ourselves and healing and stuff, but just the way you have been doing it, the way it has been done, will change. There, like, that, you will, there will, a line in the sand will be drawn, and now you're on the other side of that healing. And then a new healing will begin, right? And we won't ever forget those lessons. <sighs> but it's a new cycle. It's, it's just, it's a new cycle. Oh my gosh, now I'm losing the cards because I'm excited. Someone's excited to start this new cycle because it has been a hell of a lot of work. It's been a hell of a lot of work to maintain this sort of diligence and someone is ready to live the life that they've been manifesting, that they've been trying to manifest for themselves. The Queen of Pentacles is here. This is all the creature comforts. This is the, I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> and the ten, the 10 of Wands. If all of these wands are just lessons, right? This is all the work, the, the things we carry. Oh. The burdens that we carry with us sort of on a daily basis of like, this is what I'm working on. This is what I carry with me literally in my body. More relief. I feel just more relief. Like the, cy the cycle is ending. So a very auspicious final card, the owls. A new message. Let's see what the universe has for messages. By the way, this is a message I am drinking out of an owl cup with the owls. That's, <laughs> that's some real shit right there. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what the owls got. Here we go. Five of Cups, King of Wands, two, I mean, um, Four of Pentacles. Okay. So, I'll say this. Possibly in the future, you might deal with somebody who you feel like you need to help. Someone, um, so if you're like, you're in this like really positive, transformative energy and doing well for yourself, I, you know, the five of, the five of cups, this is not your energy. You're moving on to good things. So possibly you're the king of wands who's this inspiring figure looking at this five of cups person and so maybe there's a future decision here about whether or not you should help somebody help I don't you know that could be construed so many ways like um, give them your energy or are you going to hold on to and protect your energy the four of Pentacles that's what I see the four of Pentacles as yeah I don't know could be Let me know if any of this resonated for you. There's things I got out of this, so thank you very much, universe, for the assistance, for the assist. And um, now I'm going to go drink my chamomile tea and go to bed. So thanks for watching. <laughs>